y'all were probably thinking like, whoa, she looks ghosty, like what is her face, it's only one color. But in today's video, I'm really, really excited, I think it's going to be awesome. I have started a new makeup series, in last week's videos, we covered how to do contour, blush, highlight, foundation, and primer, and all of the basic steps to those five things. And in this video, we're going to be covering how to do a basic eye makeup look and a basic lip. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I do my brows, but if you want to know how to add some pop to your eyes and some amazing pop to your lips, then just keep on watching. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and let's get straight on with the video. Alright, so let's talk eyeshadow. But first I want to answer this question for you guys because it's a very common question. It's like one of the like 30 most common makeup questions. The question of the day is what is the proper order of applying your makeup? So in yesterday's video we covered the face, which is primer, foundation, base and face makeup, then it would be eyes, and then I like to do brows after that. I know a lot of people do their brows first or their eyeshadow first, which is totally fine too. I feel like you can't really mess up the order as long as lipstick is always last. So face, eyes, brows, lips is my order. I think that works fine, but a lot of people also do eyes, brows, face, lips. Lips just has to be first because some makeup can get over your lips if you do your lips like first or something. But I hope that question just kind of clears things up a little bit. Okay guys, let's talk brushes for eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using these four brushes today. Three of them are from BH Cosmetics and one of them is from Macy's. You guys can totally get like, I feel like at e.l.f. there's a lot of kits where it comes with like three shadow brushes that you need. I'm only using four because I think this will help a little bit, but you don't need four, usually it's just three. So I have two blending brushes. These are just to go in circular motions around your eyes to blend all the colors together because I'm going to be using more than one color. And then these two are kind of like, they're kind of flat brushes just to apply all over your lid. I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette just because it's super big. It's Studio Pro BH Cosmetics and it looks like a little TV. It's so cute. If you want, you can totally use like one of these brushes and just apply one color over your eyes. But I want some kind of like nice dimension in my eyes. One thing that's very important is to always wash your eyeshadow brushes like once every two weeks. So I've got all of these pretty, pretty colors I love. I'm going to be using this little brush. It's a fluffy blending brush and it's a, like a kind of a small one. I'm going to use this color. So I'm covering my brush in that and then I don't want too much product. So I'm just going to dust some of it off because I don't want too much. So the crease is not really your eyelid. A crease is like above the eyelid when you close your eyes there's kind of like a line there so I'm gonna take this small brush and I'm just gonna try to fit right in that little section back forth back forth okay so once we've got that crease kind of in there I'm now gonna be taking this brush and I'm literally gonna be taking the whitest color this palette has and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid I don't have any like technique or way to move the brush around for this part, I just get it all on the eye. Okay, so that is now very, very white. So, so far we've got a little pink in the crease and then a plain white. So now I am taking this brush. It's very similar to the last one we used, but it's more angled. Just like a pretty red color. I'm gonna do a bit of both. I'm just gonna go boop, 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 boop. Okay, so now I'm focusing on the outer corner. So I just wanna get only like on the outside. So don't bring this brush in to the eye. It's just going to be on the little out. I'm going to need a close-up mirror for this. Okay, so as you can see, it looks pretty cray-cray. I'm going to use a makeup white. So this palette is like super pigmented, which means it has fallout. Fallout is when the eyeshadow goes down to your under eye, which can be really annoying. You can always cover that up with a concealer, but I'm just going to go in with the makeup white because it went up higher. That's the one thing about this palette that is kind of annoying. I'm going to get some more of the white because it's not white enough. I want it to be like a white white. I like how that looks, but now I'm going to take a blending brush. Blending is so important, you guys, so important. Blending, you basically just go like this around your eye, and it makes all the color kind of blend into one so it doesn't look like red, white. So it blends like an ombre together. You just do circular motion. I'm going to add a bit of concealer, so I'm not going to talk about this too much, but basically yesterday I taught you guys how to blend foundation, and you blend concealer the exact same way. So I have this one from Too Faced, 
and I'm just gonna put it right here. And that is the finished eye. I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll get back to y'all. And that is the finished makeup look. I love how it turned out. I love the ombre between the white and the red. I think it looks so, so cool. But again, if you want something very, very natural and something that's not too hard, you could just apply like one like color over all of your eyes. That'll look fine too. But after doing eyes and everything, my eyelashes are pretty non-existent. So I'm going to apply some mascara. I have this one. I got just picked it out from Target. Like, there's nothing like about it that's super special. It's just the Crockett Volume Express. Mascara basically looks like this. Very funny looking. So it goes in your eyelashes to darken them without getting any blackness on your new eyeshadow look. And make sure that it is the bottom lashes. And that is the eyes done. I love how this look turned out. This eye look is so pretty. I love how it's an ombre. It's so kind of, it's pretty easy to achieve. You just do a light color in the inner corner and a darker color on the outer corner, then blend it together. You could even use blue, because the thing with eyeshadow is that not everyone has the same skin tone. So one time I was doing my friend's makeup who has a pinky face, like a pink color face. It's not bad. It's just a fact. Her face is just more pink. Mine is more of like an olive color. And I did pink eyeshadow, and it kind of looked more like she was sick because I used pink and she had a pinky face. And so for me, pinks look really good with my skin color. But if you guys have really pink skin, something that would look good is, you know, blues or browns and natural, things like that. You just kind of have to experiment and find out what colors look the best on you. If you want to do the same look with a blue or with a brown, you could totally do that. For eyebrows, you're gonna need a spool. You're gonna need a spoolie and an angled brush. So these are two eyebrow things. There's many kits that come with both of these little brushes. This looks like mascara, but it's to brush out your eyebrow. And then this tool is to get the product in your eyebrow. I'm not lying, my eyebrow product that I use, I don't have any others, is one from Icing, which is Claire's. Basically, Claire's store, but for older kids. If this is so pigmented, it's so nice. I use the darkest one and I use a really light shade. So it does come with an angled brush inside of the little compact. And that's great, but I'm going to use my own because it's longer. Anything will really work for your eyebrows. I used to use um, dark brown eyeshadow, which worked really well as long as you do a really light coat. There's eyebrow, there's eyebrow shadows, but I'm using this eyebrow cream stuff. So you just take a very, very light dip. And then I just start kind of brushing it through my brows. And I don't shape them, because I know a lot of people like shape them and they have them go like boop boop. I just like to darken them. That's all I do with my brows, which I think if you're my age, you shouldn't shape them yet, just because that looks so unnatural. So I just apply a little bit of the product very lightly. This is so pigmented, so I have to like be very light. And my brow looks very dark now. For each eyebrow, I, I dip it back in the product probably twice. So what I do, as you can see, I kind of have like a lump there. I just dip my finger in my tongue and I just kind of smooth it out because sometimes I do it kind of uneven just because it's hard to get the perfect shape. There are my brows done. I think they look so good. One thing about brows is that if you wear them to school two days in a row, you're going to have to do them pretty much every day because it would look weird if you're inconsistent and some days you have brows and some days you don't. I forgot to mention, then I just go in with my eyebrows and basically this is a spoolie and it just combs your eyebrow hair so you could just go up. It just helps them look neater, but that's eyebrows done. The last thing is lips. So I'm picking this lip color. I wear it pretty much every day. Like my Instagram feed is just based on this color basically. So it's from NYX. It's a soft matte lip cream. I love it. It's in the shade 02. It's more of a liquid lipstick, not lipstick because lipsticks I find are harder to work with. So I like this color, especially because I always wear pink eyeshadow so it matches. I think you should definitely wear something that matches a little more to your eyeshadow. Like right now my lips match my eyeshadow. But this is basically just a nudish pinkish. I used to apply lipstick as just like a cross like that. You guys need to make sure that you don't do that. You need to make sure that you really get in the corners of your lips and like in every section of your lips needs to be covered. See I'm getting up in the corners.
And that's the lips. And see how it kind of matches the eyes. And this is the finished makeup look. I love how it turned out. So if you want to achieve this look, make sure that you check out last week's video and then watch this one. In next week's video, I'm really, really, really excited because I'm going to be covering how to wear this much makeup every day if you're that type of person without getting acne. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!